Hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I will demonstrate how we can tame this very, very harsh light that you're seeing on my face now, just by using a very simple speed light like the Sony F60RM. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please do and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And as you can see here, this is the modifier that we will be using. We will be using the Magmod Magbox with a focus diffuser in front. Now the reason why I like the focus diffuser is because I want to concentrate the light just on my subject's face. So today, we are actually in Casa La Ia. This is our family's rest house. So I actually want to shoot some portraits for staff here. So right now we're gonna be shooting Elmar, who is our gardener within the area in which he takes care of, okay? So let's do this. So I'm gonna put this here. And this one will be our main source of light. Okay, so the, so the camera that I am using is my Sony A7R Mark IV and the lens is the 50mm 1.4. Now, what is the key to be able to basically control the sun given the fact that it's so bright now which is a tiny speed light? It is this. It's an ND filter. This is an ND32 which basically cuts the light by five stops. Let me show you. Let me set my flash first on high speed sync. This is set on group A. And I will put my, put my, uh, my camera on shutter speed priority auto ISO. So it allows me, well, it basically allows the camera to just set the aperture that it wants to set. But if I want to shoot wide open, I will do, I'll put it on aperture priority. Let's say I want to shoot at 2.8. I won't even shoot at 1.4 now because I want to be able to to see a bit of the background. So my shutter speed is at one over 6,400 on high speed sync. So if I take a shot now, you will see that the image, you can, you can hardly see the light. Basically, you can't even see the light. In other words, the flash is not strong enough on high speed sync to be able to overpower the sun at this given situation. Remember, we are also about two thirds stop under exposed. Let me show you the exposure. If I do it properly exposed, that's how bright the actual scene is. So two thirds stop, two and two thirds stop will basically make the greens greener and have a little bit more vibrant in the image. So when I put this ND filter, I can now shift my camera to shutter speed priority so I can keep it at 1 over 250. Now you see that my aperture is set at 2.8. Then we go, we go in and we turn off high speed sync. We still keep the flash at full power. And let's take one more test shot. There we go. Now you can see that the flash is actually affecting the image now and giving us a beautiful portrait on Elmar's face. All right, so let's start shooting. Okay, perfect. And Okay, harap na konti dito. Yan, tas sing ko ulit dito. Sige pa dito. All right. Very nice. I'll put it in the corner. Think you're gonna see it? And there. Uh, Very nice. Okay, so let's edit the photos. So I have my image now in my preferred RAW conversion software, which is Capture 121, and I did some minor tweaking first by just basically increasing my exposure, upping my brightness a bit, and saturating the image. After which, I actually have a layer here which I call return exposure. If you click on it, you see that the exposure that I actually increased in the background, I returned and just left the exposure on the face. And then afterwards, I just lifted the shadow a little bit here. So from here, we just do a bit of general cleaning and sharpening in Photoshop. 
So I have my image here opened up in Photoshop and as usual I create a new layer for my general cleaning and here you can see I just remove very very little artifacts here and there. So just the shadow and some dots here that are a bit of a distraction. Then from there I ended up sharpening the image. And that's it. That's basically how we process this image. It is quick and fast because we got the shot right in camera. Okay. So that's basically how we maximize the power of our tiny speed light in order for us to be able to tame weather like this. We use an ND filter to cut the light in order for the shutter speed to stay within the flash sync speed. Because as I demoed earlier, if we go on high speed sync, we're actually taking away so much power from these small speed lights that they can no longer basically illuminate the face if we are underexposing a scene. Now I enjoy underexposing a scene to be able to bring out the colors, let's say the greens here and the blues in the sky. And with this one, I think we are shooting at 1 over 250. If I take the ND filter off, our settings is really at f14. So basically this flash and this modifier and this given distance, we are actually getting a an f-stop of f14. But I can also double up the power of my flash by, by just adding another f60rm to this magmod magbox because it allows for two. Therefore, I don't have to shoot in full power. I can even shoot, let's say for example, at f22 at a brighter day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer any of your queries if I wasn't able to explain it fully in this video. And don't forget if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so and while you're at it click that notification bell so that you get notified the moment I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images you could always find me on Instagram it's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay till the next video.